Joining me now is Ray Vanderpool. And Ray, boy, it gets noisy out here, doesn't it? It does indeed, especially when some of the street rods that's been modified start coming in. It's, it's, it's amazing. The smell, the noise is awesome. That, I truly believe that's half of the excitement about coming out to Old Town is the thrill of seeing the old style cars, the way they've modified the motors, the smell of the fuel that they're burning. It just makes for a great evening. Now most people, most TV shows wouldn't like the sound and the background and everything. I love that. The more radical sometimes, the better it is. Well, what do I have uh, behind me? It's a, it's a 32 or not a 32? What is it? It's is a 1932 Ford three-window coupe. Uh, I am running Chevy Power. Okay. Uh, it's a 350 board out, 33 over. Wow. Uh, of course, I've put all the goodies on the inside with roller rockers, three-quarter cam, uh, 400 crank. I've got a 700R transmission, and that's coupled to a Jaguar rear end, which is unusual because most of us run nine-inch Ford, but uh, it's, a, it's a nice combination for this car. So it, this is a true hot rod uh, combination of, what, what would you call this? Uh, it, it's, it's an all-American icon, oh, yeah. uh, a 1932, uh, but it's built for cruising as well as speed. How did you learn to work on, you did, did you build this yourself? Or yes. How did you learn to work on cars? Uh, well, I come from a very large family, so I went to work in a gas station when I was 14 as a gas jockey. and. Of course, on Friday and Saturday nights, uh, all my classmates and, and all those that, of course, raised in the 60s and the 70s, uh, muscle cars, street machines, that was that was just the everyday way of life yeah. for us in going to high school. What do you like about doing the cruisings? The the people here at Old Town, the, the crew staff, they, uh, they go out of their way to make you feel welcome. Uh, I, this is my 13th year. Uh, normally I have my own dedicated parking spot up by or on Trophy Row, but uh, the Cruiser of the Month gets to decide who sits on the left and the right. Well, my friend made Cruiser of the Month, who for three years has sit right beside me every Saturday night, so we decided to, we're not going to change it. We're going to cool. sit beside each other, even though it's his honor. That's cool. So, uh, but the, just the enjoyment of the people you get to meet, there's always a constant flow of, of tourists that come from all parts of the world. And I will say one thing about Old Town. If there's anything that reflects the love of the American people for the old automobile, it's here.